Maybe so I we should... got another another question here from the audience. Another question, uh, yeah. I'm yeah. late to the stream and not sure if this has been brought up, but I love Roy's work on the Marvel Dracula series with Dick Gion Giordano. How was it returning to a series 30 years after starting it? Well, it was it was great. You know, it was Dick and I had what's really weird from the very beginning back in the middle 70s. Uh, I had the idea to do the series. I contacted Dick and learned that it was one of his favorite novels, too. So we decided we'd, we'd just do it. We did the first 40 or 50 percent of it. And then they killed the book. You know, it was being serialized. In. But from the very beginning, it was designed <laughs> to be published someday as a, like a, a 200 page Dracula adaptation, which we had no idea anybody would ever do because they weren't doing 200 page graphic novels, comic books or anything in 1975. And uh, so it died. And we, we kept trying to revive it. We tried to see if we could lease the rights for Marvel at one stage. And one time some editor was going to do it. And then they downsized and he was gone. And all of a sudden, a few years ago, uh, a young editor, uh, Mark Beasley, he's, he's not there now, uh, but he uh, he uh, called me up. He hadn't even been born yet when Dick and I had started <laughs> the Dragon adaptation. Or when it did this. And he saw that I had said somewhere, Dick and I kept hoping we'd finish it. So we finished it. They published us a black and white book. It won some kind of designy award for somebody, not for Dick and me, but it was nice design. Then later they published it in color. So it's actually been out in two different editions. And, you know, I'm real, you know, pleased because it's an almost perfectly faithful adaptation of Dracula. And that's what I, you know, I, I like to see things like that, works of literature. I like to see them, you know, it's, it's a point to be made for changing things when you adapt things and so forth. But I felt when you're just turning a, a novel into a comic book, you know, it's almost like having delusions of grandeur to think you can improve it. <laughs> Just tell the damn story. That right, like, 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 like the old uh, classic and, illustrated. And you want to save it to make your great movie or something else, you'll go off and do that, you know. But my mm -hmm. idea was to tell the story. It's, it's the classics illustrated approach, except that, you know, classic yep. illustrated sometimes did it well and sometimes not, you know. Right, right. <laughs> and so did yeah, that's I. That's awesome. I, I didn't know you uh, did that. I'll have to look for that. I'd oh, it's, like it's, to check that out. I'm I'm very proud of that book. And so was uh, was Dick. I I don't think he unfortunately was around anymore to see it when it finally came out in color. But he saw it come out as in book form, and he was very happy that we we stuck it. You talk thirty years. That's that's perseverance. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah seriously. Uh, that's yeah, great. I salute <laughs> Mark Beasley and Marvel for finally getting it out there after over three decades. That may be a record of how long it took to get a comic book. A, a comic book story published, you know. Oh, I know. Of course, we took a 30-year vacation in between, but otherwise. <laughs>